All right, today let's watch me paint the Grand Rebbe Schneerson. This is a gift for Rabbi Levy and Rebbitson Sivi over at my Chabad in Palm Coast. Happy birthday, you guys. So I began the video already having had drawn Rebbe Schneerson onto the canvas, and then I went ahead and blocked in those colors, those very basic colors. Um, so you got the background, the black of the hat, peach on the eyes and the hand, you got the beard, and the white of the talus some of the tallest details as well so i let that dry and then come back in for some more nuance that's pretty much how it goes you paint you know blocks and then more nuance and then more nuance and more nuance and pretty much um every painting is a process of of painting a layer and waiting for that layer to dry and then the next layer and waiting for that layer to dry so you spend a lot of time waiting for paint to dry but it's a labor of love. So I went in for a double yellow background um, just to make sure that I didn't miss any spots and that there, nowhere it would it be see-through. Because that's, that's a pet peeve of mine, to miss a spot and then if you hold the canvas up to the light, it's see-through. It just drives me nuts. So, um, But anyway, I ended up changing the color of the background. So, um, yeah, just doing some more details in here. There's a lot of different colors on... Um, skin tone that you don't you know think of right away uh, when you think of skin tone because how light bounces off everything but like a peach skin tone is going to have blues and it is going to have purples and those very subtle blues and purples and all other colors um, when you add it to the skin color it really is what makes it realistic so there's a trick of the trade now here i am changing the background very happy about this decision that is a Prussian blue with silver and I gradiated it so that it would be darker at the bottom and the top to provide that contrast with the talus on the bottom and then the hat at the top. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording the entire thing, but it didn't. This next clip will be the last one um, before the camera just, I guess I didn't hit play or, or record or something. But um, anyway, we do have this, and this is me just really, really paying attention to the face and going in with the softer tones, um, making the beard, you know, less, like, sticking out of the face and more blending in with it, giving it a realistic effect. So, so there he is, Rabbi Schneerson. The very last phase of me painting this, I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. So now we're here at this phase at the end, completed, and I didn't even get to show you all the fun of doing the hand, which if you watch any of my other videos, I've talked about how much fun it is to paint hands. Not. Hands are very, very difficult to paint. For me. For me. Anyway, it came out good. I'm going to write an inscription on the back. This is a birthday gift for the Rabbi and Rebbitson of Chabad at Palm Coast, Florida. And so their birthdays are a few days apart. So this is a gift for them. And I'm going to do a little Yom Huledet Sameach on the back. A little message. And then that'll be that. Checked off Rebbe number two. All right. So I uh, went ahead and wrote out Yom Huledet Sameach on the back. At least I hope that's what that says. My Hebrew script is actually pretty good. I don't know how I remember it for so long. And an inscription uh, by Inglit for the rabbi and the rabbitson. And there, there he is, folks. I'm pretty proud of this piece. I think it came out amazing, actually. I'm really glad with, um, that I made that change to the blue and silver background. And the hand looks really good. And there I am. There I am with the painting. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And happy birthday to Rabbi Levy and Rebbitson Sivi.